Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, February 5th, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. What you're going to see is that the futures are trading higher by about six points this morning. Make that six and a quarter to right around the 1499.75 level. So again, futures were even a little bit higher earlier have pulled back a little bit and you can see the reason why it's basically the US dollar index the dollar is catching a little bit of a bid I know through the month of January the dollar really wasn't all that connected to the markets and that's generally due to the light volume but now volume starting to come back into the market ever so slightly and you're seeing the dollar have more impact you can see as the dollar moved up the futures what did they do they moved lower so again keep the dollar on watch all day long probably the most important chart you can follow. So again, futures rebounding a little bit after yesterday's steep decline. The S&P did finish down by nearly 17 and a half points yesterday. The Dow Jones was down 129 points. And obviously the NASDAQ really took it on the chin, down 48 points yesterday. So again, small rebound today so far for the markets. We'll see if they do recover further. But again, if that dollar catches any kind of a bid, I don't think there's going to be much upside Generally, the following day after a big down day, you get more of a uh, subdued trading session or you'll get more of a mild, gentle retrace to the upside. That's generally what you want to look for today, a flat type day with a, or a slight upside bias. Um, if you do get further downside, then um, you know that could spell more trouble for the markets. But across the pond in Europe today, it looks like things are rebounding a little bit. Uh, all of the European markets are catching a bid. Not much of one. They were punished yesterday. Uh, especially Spain and Italy, which were down over 3%. Today, you do have Italy up over uh, 1%. Spain is actually up 1.7%. The German DAX, which is by far the most important index over there, just up uh, real flat now on the day, just up one-tenth of 1%. And then you have the CAC 40, which is up about 1% or a little bit less. So, uh, again, um, that's what we're going to watch for uh, today. Just see what that dollar does. If that dollar moves higher, usually we'll take the markets down. So... Uh, again, keep that dollar front and center. Dollar had a big day yesterday. A uh, few other things to look at here this morning. One, gold is up by one point. Not a big deal. Gold did make a little bit of a move yesterday. Today it's trading at $1,677 an ounce. Let's take a look at the GLD, which is a good proxy for gold. And you'll see the GLD is trading right around 162.28. So a decent little move there. Closed at 162 yesterday, to upticking a little bit. The USO, which is the way we track oil, uh, if you take a look at oil this morning, what you'll see here is that oil is trading higher by 64 cents. The USO is trading uh, right around the 3504 level, so that is catching a decent little bid. It did close at $34.78. Again, watch the dollar. If the dollar starts to gain strength, that will definitely uh, affect oil, uh, most likely brings oil lower. Um, if the dollar starts to lose ground, then oil can uh, reassert itself and start to trade higher. So I think that's what traders have to watch for. We have a lot of stocks in the news today. Let's get into them. I'm going to talk about this uh, MHP first. This is McGraw-Hill. Okay, these are the parent company of S&P, Standard & Poor's. Stock was just annihilated yesterday. I think traders want to watch the 48.15, the 48.35 level. Right around there will be some short-term support. Also, 46.20 and then $42. So keep that on watch. Right now, the stock is not doing much from yesterday's close, trading right around 50.64. But those are the levels you want to watch for. Also, in sympathy um, to the fall in McGraw Hill is going to be Moody's. Moody's did not get uh, uh, did, is not being sued by the U.S. government like uh, like uh, S. Standard and Poor's is, but this one is also trading uh, down pretty significantly. There is some short-term support at 48.44. I like the 44.61, the 44, uh, the 41.20 levels, and also around $40 is another pretty good level. And then ultimately 37.78. I think all those levels could give you some bounces, uh, intraday bounces. These are only intraday scalp levels. Let's take a look at Yum Brands. Yum Brands uh, getting. Uh, hit pretty hard. I guess they reported earnings. Um, the stock closed at around 64 bucks yesterday, and it was down significantly yesterday, and down even further this morning, trading right around 60 dollars. I think traders want to watch 
uh, a level a little bit lower. I'm going to go in the camp that the stock has some support around 57.85, 54.45. Then you're going to come right into the $50 even number, and then you're going to look at 48.18. So those are all your levels for Yum Brands. Again, if the stock gets down there, those are scalp levels only. Let's take a look at Baidu. B-I-D-U is the ticker symbol. Um, this is the Chinese internet company, big ADR, mostly compared to Google. Um, this stock today is getting hit a little bit. Stock closed at $107.20. Today it is trading at right at $100, uh, even number. I think traders could watch for a little bit of support around this 100 area, but if it closes around here, I think the better area to look for would be around um, anywhere from $97.70 to $97. That's going to be a big level. And then after that, it's 93.14. I wish I could give you a better area, but I'm showing 97.70 as one spot. And then I'm showing 96.98, which is $97 rounded up, uh, as the next spot. So it's a hard one for me to pick out. Uh, picture perfect there on that one. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, both levels look decent. And then it's going to be all the way down to 93.14. And then 85.88, all bounce levels for Baidu. Uh, let's take a look at... Um, JC Penney's this morning, leading retailer, not leading lately. Uh, the stock uh, today is trading decently lower. It closed at $19.34. It's trading at $18.35. I think the stock has a fair amount of support for a bounce around $17.35. Okay, so keep that on the radar, $17.35. After that, it's really back down to $16. Bucks. So $17.35 and then $16.00. Let's take a look at Toyota Motor. Ticker symbol is TM. The stock um, came out with earnings. It closed yesterday at $97.83. This is a strong gap up. It's a beautiful base coming off of, so you don't want to short this one. Right now it's trading at $100.50. Um, I think it may hit some resistance around 102 I just wouldn't short it because it is a strong gap. I'd leave that one alone, let it trade higher. We'll look at it on another day. But those of you looking to short Toyota, um, it's not for me. If the market is weak today, maybe it pulls back around the 102 level. But um, ultimately, I would not be getting in front of Toyota off of that base. You never know what can happen. But right now, the stock is showing some pretty good strength. Another stock I'm seeing here this morning is Virgin Media. Uh, VMED is the ticker symbol. Um, pretty strong gap up. Stock closed at 38.69. Um, it's trading at 46. There should be some resistance around 46, but this is a strong gap up as well. It's always tough to try to short these stocks with the strong gap up, strong gaps up. Um, right now, I'd, I'd be more in the camp to just leave it alone, um, but it does look like it will stall out around 46. So if you own it, I would basically just trail my stop loss here. If you don't own it, I wouldn't do much with it. It's not a great fade candidate, at least from my vantage point. Let's take a look at APC, which is Anadarko Petroleum. Um, the stock closed at 80.50. Today it's trading at 81.50. There's not you, not a lot you could do with this one. Um, there is a fair amount of resistance up here around the 82 level. Um, it's not a short play or a long play. Just leave it alone. Um, I just did see it come across my ticker, so I wanted to take a quick glance at it. But um, there's not a lot you could do with Anadarko Petroleum at the morning. Uh, this morning, I should say. So we'll leave that one alone for the most part. Um, that pretty much covers all the gaps that I have available this morning. There are some other stocks that are moving, um, some decent ones too, but nothing that I see as a great gap play. I like to take the ones that are very liquid, and I like the bigger the bigger the gap, the better, in my opinion, um, going forward. So you got a lot of smaller ones that are gapping, but again, they don't have the volume, nor do they have... Um, this, the right size gap that we look for to take advantage of gap plays in the morning. All right, so with that said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. We'll see how this market turns out. Generally, the next trading day after a big move like we had yesterday to the downside is a little bit more subdued, a little bit more on the quiet side. You'll get some morning volatility, but we don't look for, you know, another follow-through, big follow-through down day. If that were to happen, markets would really be in trouble. And today, it looks like the European markets, for the most part, are holding up. Uh, just a quick note before we do sign off here. Uh, last night you did have big selling uh, taking place in the Nikkei 225. So again, watch the Japanese ADRs today. Um, they could be 
they could be in a little bit of trouble. These these things are all overbought. Um, also, the Hang Seng sold uh, sold down pretty decently as well. Uh, that was down two and a quarter percent. So some selective Hong Kong stocks could be under pressure today as well. But um, just keep note of that going forward. I know a lot of you are watching a lot of the um, Asian ADRs, and that is always important to follow the uh, Asian indexes from the from the overnight session. Okay, with that said, everybody, have a great trading day. I will see you all on the charts a little bit later. Take care now.